By the way, I'm I'm very bad at at uh audio memory, so if the voices do change, please don't don't give me a hack. Thank goodness that ends. Hello everybody. As you probably know, it's the Red Mage Crow. And welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, the trilogy one. So, we just basically completed the first roundabout, and we're heading on to roundabout two, in which that annoying phone noise, and I am not looking forward to this because the only one who commented, Umbreon, thank you, uh, basically said that he would like to hear voice acting. So, yeah. Oh god, I gotta give voices to girls. <laughs> oh no. Can I do a generic girl voice? It's been so long. Um. <clears throat> Hello? No. Hello? Hello? Maybe I should just make her annoy uh, annoying. Hello, well, this is Maya. <laughs> Dear God, what do I do with my life? Hello, this is Maya. We're gonna give her this voice, I guess. Whatever this might be. Somebody send me some help. Because this is probably the best I got for her. Oh God, it's Mia. I totally forgot that she would be talking to her sister. Mia, Maya. Mia, Mo, Maya. Maya, Mia, Mo. Okay, let me see. Yeah, Mia's gonna be the... Hey, Maya, it's me. Oh. And then... Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. God dang, what the frick? How did that happen? Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. Somebody help me. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to my very own place. I hate you guys. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. Really probably gonna get into this too. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha! Oh god, the voice cracked. So, what is it this time? It's... a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue. The Thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! My little girl hunting horses! I'm killing you, Umbreon! Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. And leave that poor Umbreon boy alone. Never! Ah, oh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's, it's not working? That's lame! I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in the pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner! Something good! Like... Boigers! I could really go for a good burger. Mmm, sweet, succulent, juicy burgers. Okay, okay. We'll just hit the usual joint. All right! It's a deal! Okay, sis. See you soon! I hate you, Umbreon, but I'm going to enjoy this all the same! Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Beep, 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 beep. Conversation recorded. September 5th. 9.27 a.m.
You guys can read these things. I'm not, I'm not, no. <laughs> <clears throat> now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, ho, you're not coniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Ho! Ho! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fang. <laughs> oh dear God! Not again! And here's the scumbag. Goodbye. Red, white, blue. And I am so sorry, Umbreon, but it was not meant to be. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot, so... <clears throat> just fair warning, uh, I have played through most of this game. I just haven't done the last trial. Because my freaking mic was freaking dead on my DS back in those days. Makes me really sad thinking about it. But, other than that, played through most of this game. About half of the second game. So this playthrough is relatively going to be mostly me knowing somewhat what to do i'm not very good when it comes i'm pretty good when it comes to visual memory but you know uh i'm not gonna relatively remember the i'm not gonna remember everything you know time has its ways and with that being said uh you know everyone and their grandma seems to be doing <laughs> let's play on this game now oh my god but we're going to do it our own way not watching any of the other people playing it. They're probably funnier than I am. But I am still here. Huh, that's strange. I guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. Hmm. What's that smell? Oh god, it's the smell of blood. The blood. Maybe a rotting corpse. Hey guys, guess what? We have this. Ooh, hey, look, profiles. Hey, look, there's my face. She was 27 when she was struck down. Oh, that is sad. Wait. How old is Phoenix? Didn't we say he was like 30 or something? Well. B blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Oh, okay, so now this is basically where we, uh, we, we can basically do all of this jazz. So we can normally examine, and then it'll allow us to relatively, like, I think I can just, I can, like, be like, oh, I smell blood. That can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, the chief's okay. And so basically we just, we don't want to relatively do that. We just move straight into the office for this. And then, that smell. Bleed. And then, you know, why would they tear the room up like this if they knew where the papers were? Unless, you know, Mia was just like really, really bad at like being clean. But then again, that table is crooked. I don't think that would be like an actual thing. <laughs> Sis. God dang it, what did I give her voice? Oh, there, there's my Chief. Chief. Chief! I mean, she got bonked on the head and fell backwards. Hmm. Who are you? And she fainted. This 
strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. There's a missing letter here. <laughs> and then, here we go. Mia, Maya, Momaya, Mia. Her body was still warm, which means she's only could have been dead for a couple of, like, hours or so. Maybe like a minute. Then all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. This is very sad. Chief. Now we can relatively examine, and then, hey, look, it's the thinker. It's encrusted with dry blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again! Then we can also see this right here. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of glass light stand. Then... There's a large building right across from the office. The Heatwater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. So, then I think that this is like, yeah, this is the chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying right. What? The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Hmm. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand broken in the back of the room. We're also going to add that to the court record. Nothing else that seems like clues here. Hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? The word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store. Dated yesterday. Hmm, okay. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. By the way, him actually tampering with all this right here, him basically doing any of this, I'm pretty sure is illegal and tampering with evidence at the crime scene. And find out what that girl was doing here. Oh my god, we can slide. Uh, right. I better call the police. Hmm? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please come quickly. What was that? Someone screamed from outside the window. Okay, first of all, one. How could you even remotely possibly see anything going on from the other side. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. We could hear her all the way from here. Uh, so let's go ahead and slide back here. Let's see if that relatively helps. Uh, slide over here. Maybe uh, we should move back to Banco. <gasps> that girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Ah, yipsers! Don't scare me like that. Seriously, though, you are so sad, Maya. Um, excuse me. Who are you? That little girl looking sad. Look at her and she blinks! It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. God dang it, I'm giving her... Maya. Maya. Yeah, Maya. Maya. Maya Faye. We'll go with that for now. Oh, no. Maya. Hey. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. And so, like, this is basically, like, all the other stuff. Anytime that we relatively meet somebody, we have all this jazz to relatively talk to. Normally, we talk to people, and then they reveal a couple of things. But in this case, we're just going to uh, present her with this. By the way, this would imply that he actually has this on hand. 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, he would be in trouble. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. I, I know that, like, I probably forgot to read that, but you guys can always read that. Th that's, that's my name. Well, why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Well, why would my sis write my own name? Uh-oh, now I've done it. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! We got guns! If only a gun sounds actually sound like that. Hey, Detective Gumshoe! I love this guy. I am Detective Gumshoe. C. Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way. C. Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? I don't know why I'm giving him that voice. He could be go with like a little bit of a scruffier voice, but let's keep it like that. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eek! This would Maya here mean anything to you? Okay, I guess he didn't have it on hand. Because he went in the room, supposedly, and found it there. So what, does Phoenix Wright just carry a camera or something and take pictures of all the evidence? I don't know. Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note on her own blood, see? With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not... Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct. Pre precinct? Precinct. Precinct. Ma'am. What? No! <laughs> they dragged her through the window and jumped into the car. Only to find out that the jail was only like three blocks away. <gasps> Maya's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and don't didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy. But I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for the visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible, after all. And then here we are in the detention room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! It's you, the lawyer! G good morning! Good morning. By the way, I'm, I'm very bad at at, uh, audio memory, so if the voices do change, please don't, don't give me a hack. Also, I think that relatively, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, I'm all over the place because I wanted to start on this, but I think 30 minutes every single episode sounds fair, uh, unless we relatively get into a court case. Like, if, if like, basically, like, the deducing areas get done, and then, you know, there's enough of it to relatively make solid episodes. Then when the trial basically begins, maybe we'll just make the full trial a full episode. Depending. We'll see where that goes. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Oh, well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I can be like, sorry, not a chance. Um, anything? Of course I will. First things first, better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? Oh my god, this guy is going to be my attorney. I'm going to so go to jail. No! Um, no. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, 
He found me in the office. He looked at me like I had done it. Send help. Did I look at her like that? See, that's that's something that I would have done. I would have accidentally have did a face thing that I relatively would not have known I did. And then people would get the wrong idea. Social life sucks. No, I never thought. It's okay. I understand. And I also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh, the screws being undone. They were loosened so that they could put a bug on the phone. I can't remember if that was actually a thing, though. <laughs> but, hey! Oh, God. She still has voice lines. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow! Really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Namely because I didn't want him to fuck up. Seriously, like, he, he flailed around a couple of times. Almost lost the case. I had to remind him to take it from another angle. Just letting you know. Ha! So he crashed and burned. He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil type. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Uh, da 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 da. I'm trying to remember what the frick is on her neck. Maganata? Magenta? I think it's called a Maganata. Maganata? Oh no, wait, it's a scarf. That's right. Mm. Well, I know who to go if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I, th oh. <clears throat> I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is... Unless you want to be found guilty. That is what she said. She totally threw you under the bus. Holy God, have I never met anyone with less faith in someone that they basically had and held dear. Well, she... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Yay. No, it's, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I just can't sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this smile, thinking about this, isn't this kind of, uh... It's almost exactly like Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm just going to be talking voices and deducing what's going on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to die. Um, well, I, I know. Okay, so, if anything, you can present stuff. But this is, like, basically where it te teaches you that you need to talk to people. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this. This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. I don't know how to say Maganata. But I can tell you what an acolyte is. Like, seriously, like, who can relatively look at this and tell, tell that that's an acolyte? Seriously. <laughs> acolyte? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. The day of the crime! Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Y yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes! That clock's shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. Oh, don't go, don't go, don't go. Mm, 
I can't seem to remember. Oh, oh, I remember now. Uh, yes. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot how to delete those things. That's useful. Your cell phone, please. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, they confiscated that. I knew it. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Why wouldn't they confiscate that? Next time I see Detective Gumshoes, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. And then, why is this? Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know I'm... Oh, no, wait, no, that's still Phoenix. <laughs> Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. It's kind of fed up, really. You know, make me want, have to, like, Relive the scene over and over again, just so that they can relatively understand what's going on. Like, god dang, it takes forever! Seriously, like, if you think about it, it's kinda messed up. <laughs> Let's see, that morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence. That's the finger clock that Mary laid. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. Take Took two people's lives today. And yesterday. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. But then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. Why does that sound like it should be sarcastic? Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte, uh, or medium in training. That's right! The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. I can send you there! Ha <laughs> ha, you'll be able to meet Mia! She'll be able to tell you everything about the murder! Oh wait, but then you wouldn't be alive. I think that would complicate things a bit. Ah, we'll just skip that for now, maybe do it for another case. Wait a second, you said the Fey family. So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. The powers were first class too! <clears throat> I... I had no idea. Bittered. Betrayed. Oh, she never told me anything about this. Hmm... Wait. What? So you're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium. With ESP and all that. Yes! In training. Now, why don't you just like conjure her up? Like seriously, I I honestly don't remember much of the uh, of the evidence gathering. I just plainly remember like a lot of the court system. Well, can't you contact Maya Spirit? Thank you. I can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. Also, I can't do it. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Aw oh, man, now he knows how much of a loser I am. Mm. Um! Please don't think I'm a loser! Huh? Something matter? Ah! Uh, nothing! I was wondering. Could I ask you a favor? Sure. This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I am in trouble. <laughs> Watch your sheet, like, freaking Phoenix Wright just, like, calls it from, like, not even, like, his cell phone. And, like, he, he just, like, dials it. And all of a sudden, his phone starts ringing, you know? <laughs> oh, imagine how silly that would be. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I'll go ask! Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. I'm lonely. Uh... Say, 
<laughs> what about your parents? I'm adopted. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't think she is. I, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you! The trial's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Don't be late with that lawyer. Please! What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow!